Step number five, the recap screen. After you've finished entering or adjusting all of the production rates on the labor screen, you'll notice that the status indicators have all turned green. At this point, you can work with your markups on the recap screen, and to do that, you'll click on the check mark icon to go to the recap screen. You'll notice that the recap screen is divided into what we call tax classes. Material is one tax class, labor is another, then there's subcontract, equipment, and other. Now, each tax class can have its own markups. Material has a markup called tax right here. And we can change that tax class markup, known as tax, by double-clicking on it. We double-click again and change the amount. And then click Save and Save. And we have just changed that markup in this job only. We have not changed your default tax rate in the database. So if we were to go do another job right now, the default tax would come in at 7%. We can change the labor burden by double-clicking on it. Double-click, change the amount, click Save and Save. Now, let me tell you that all of the black line items that were on the pricing screen are material items and they'll fall under this tax class called material. All of the light blue items on the labor screen will fall under the labor tax class. The green line items on the pricing screen will fall under subcontract. The brown line items that were on the pricing screen fall under equipment and the red line items that were on the pricing screen will fall under other. Now, you can expand out a tax class, and if you do, what you'll see under them are user codes. We can click here to expand all the tax classes, and you will see user codes under the tax class. It's rare, but it is possible to add a, a markup to a user code. All you'll need to do is double click on that user code and add a markup. And add a percentage and click save and save. And now you have a user code markup as well. Now, let's come down here. We see a red exclamation point. If you hover over the red exclamation point, there will be an explanation for the exclamation. And the explanation here says there is one item with an error and it will allow us to click on this red exclamation point. It takes us straight to the pricing screen where there is a green line, which is a subcontracted labor that doesn't have a price. When we give it a price, a quote of let's say $2,000 and tap on the enter button, it goes away because there is no longer an error with that item. You could clear up all of your items right here and now. Let me come back to the recap screen before we do, just to show you that we've cleared that red exclamation point under subcontract. The brown line items on the pricing screen 
our equipment items. If we hover over this red exclamation point, it, said, it says there are four items with errors. If we click on it, there will be four brown line items on the pricing screen with errors. And we will fix each one of these. This is a forklift with a lump sum of, I'm going to say, $800 and a portable toilet with a lump sum of $600 and a scaffold with a lump sum of, I don't know, $300. Now, if we go back to the recap screen, we have cleared the red exclamation point next to equipment and we have one next to other. We'll click it and these are the remaining line items with errors. We're going to give engineering a lump sum or a quote of $1,200. Hotels, we're going to give a lump sum of $950. Mileage and permit fee. Now, if we come back to the recap screen, we see that we have cleared the red exclamation points. Now, if we come down to the contract amount and we see our total price, 50489.70, that's the same price we see up here. If your customer was to say, uh, can you do this for $48,000? What we can do, you see this profit of 25% here? What we can do is double click on this 50489 and change it to $48,000, $48,000. And when we do, we'll see this profit percentage change. Let's click OK. You'll see that the profit has changed to 18.84% percent and if that is approved then you can do the job for forty eight thousand dollars even if you want to put it back all you will need to do is double click here and put it back to your original profit percent and it's back the way it was before now look at this figure up here, 50,489.70, if you divide it by the total squares on this job of 70.30, you'll get this figure down here, this dollar amount per square. That's the recap screen. Thank you for watching.